Let's start with HDFS architecture. HDFS has a master-slave architecture. It has single active name node and multiple data nodes. This is very important point to remember. At any given point of time, there will only be one active name node. Name node and data nodes are server machines. Together they form a cluster of machines. Name node is the master of the cluster. It manages the file system namespace. That is it stores metadata of all the files and directories of the file system. It stores location of all the blocks in the cluster. It also stores FS image and edit log. What is metadata? What are blocks? What is block location? I will answer all these questions in this session. Let's not worry about FS image and edit log. I will explain it in detail when explaining checkpointing. First we will see what is metadata. Metadata contains information like file name, file size, number of blocks the file is broken, block ID, user who created the file, user group, access permission to different users, block replication, block size, etc. For example consider log.txt file of size 300 megabyte stored in our cluster. Here the metadata is, log.txt is the file name. Its size is 300 megabyte. It is broken into three blocks. Block IDs are 1, 2 and 3. HD user created the file. HD user belongs to Hadoop group. Only HD user has write permission. Replication factor is 3. Block size is 128 megabyte etc. These simple block IDs are only used to understand the concept, otherwise block ID is unique across the cluster. This metadata is stored on hard disk, as well as in the main memory. Why metadata is stored in main memory? Metadata in main memory is used to serve client requests. It means if the client wants to access log.txt file, then the client should contact name node. Name node will look for this file's metadata in its main memory, and then serve the client accordingly. It may allow access or deny access based on file permission. So for fast access of data in HDFS, in-memory metadata is used. Why metadata is stored on disk? Metadata is first stored persistently in the edit log and then converted to FS image. Let's not worry about FS image and edit log. I will explain it in detail when explaining checkpointing. For now. Let's keep in mind that it is used for recovery purpose. If it all name node crashes, then whole data in main memory is lost. This is where metadata stored on disk comes for the rescue. Name node is recovered using this metadata. Keep in mind that only metadata is recovered. Block location is not recovered using this process. I will soon talk about block location. Then the whole picture will be clear. Before explaining block location, you need to know about blocks and data nodes. Till now we did not come across the actual data storage. We saw that main node only stores metadata. It does not store actual data. Where is actual data stored? How is it stored? These questions will get answered once you learn about blocks and data nodes. Data in HDFS is stored as blocks. Blocks in HDFS is similar to blocks in any traditional file system, like Linux. It is used to store data. In any traditional file system, block size will be few kilobytes usually 4K or 8K. In HDFS, 
Default block size is 64 megabyte. And in cloud era it is 128 megabyte. There are reasons for such a large block size. I will explain it later. When a file is written into HDFS, it is divided into blocks and then stored in different data nodes across the cluster. You will come to know more about block as the training progresses. Let's take a deviation and see what are data nodes. We are still not over with blocks. Blocks and data nodes go hand in hand. Data nodes are the workhorses of the file system. Actual data is stored in data nodes. As said earlier, files are divided into blocks and stored in different data nodes across the cluster. Here file 1 is divided into 3 blocks and stored in data node 1. File 2 is divided into 4 blocks and stored in data node 2 and 3. And file 3 is just one block and stored in data node 7. Similarly millions of files can be stored on HDFS. Because data is not just stored on single machine but on a cluster of machines. Let's take earlier example, where log.txt file is stored in HDFS. Its size is 300 megabyte. Block size is 128 megabyte because cloud era Hadoop distribution is used. Log.txt file will be broken into three blocks because block size is 128 megabyte. If you divide file size by block size, you will get two blocks of size 128 megabyte and third block of size 44 megabyte. After dividing the file into blocks, it is stored one by one. While it is being stored it is replicated and stored in different data nodes. Block ID 1 is 128 megabyte. Its first replica is stored in data node 1, second replica is stored in data node 5 and third replica is stored in data node 6. Block ID 2 is also 128 megabyte but stored in data node 2, data node 5 and data node 6. Block ID 3 is only 44 megabyte and is stored in data node 3. Data node 5 and data node 6. Last block size will always be less than or equal to block size of the cluster. It all depends on the file size. If file size is 256 megabyte then it will have two blocks, each of 128 megabyte. And if the file size is 10 megabyte, then it will have a single block of size 10 megabyte. Now why blocks are replicated? Replication makes HDFS a reliable storage system. If blocks are lost or gets corrupted, replicas of these block are available in different data nodes. For example, if block ID 1 of log.txt file is lost or corrupted, replicas of this block is available in data node 5 and 6. And if a data node itself is down, Replicas of all the blocks in that node will be available in different data nodes. For example, if data node 5 itself is down, replicas are available in data node 1, data node 2, data node 3 and data node 6. Using these replicas, lost blocks are recreated, till number of blocks is equal to replication factor. That was about data nodes and blocks. One more point is, data nodes does not have any knowledge about the files in HDFS. They only have knowledge about blocks. So till now we learned about name node, metadata in name node. Data nodes, blocks in data nodes, replication of blocks. Still we need to see what is block location. I think by now you have some idea about block location. So let's explore this. When a data node starts up, it will send block report to name node. What is block report? 
data node will scan through its hard disks and generate a list of all the blocks on it. And sends this report to name node. This report is called block report. This report is sent periodically. In our example, block report sent from data node 6 will contain block ID 1, block ID 2 and block ID 3. Along with block ID it will also contain generation stamp and block length. Generation stamp is used to determine blocks version. Let's not worry about it. Just remember that it is used for append operation. Using these block reports from all the data nodes, name node will build block ID to location mapping. This mapping is called block location. Finally we know what is block location. Block location is not only updated using block reports but also during write operation. You will come to know about it during write operation session. Now we shall put all things together. In metadata, file name is mapped to block IDs. In block location, block IDs are mapped to data node address. As a result, for a given file, name node knows on which data nodes the blocks are located. That is, name node knows that the blocks of logs.txt file is stored in data node 1, data node 2, data node 3, data node 5, and data node 6. Using metadata and block location, name node has complete knowledge of the entire cluster. There is one more concept in HDFS called heartbeat. It is used by name node to check whether data node is active or down. Heartbeat is sent from data nodes to name node. It is sent every 3 seconds. If a data node is down, name node will not receive heartbeat from that data node. Name node will wait for 10 minutes and then considers that the data node is out of service. Heartbeats also carry information of data nodes like total disk space, used space, free space, and data transfer currently in progress. These statistics are used by name node during block allocation and load balancing. That was all about HDFS architecture. Let's summarize it. HDFS is a master-slave architecture. HDFS has single active name node that contains metadata and block location. It manages the file system using metadata and block location. It handles coordination using heartbeat. It is the master of the cluster. HDFS has multiple data nodes. Actual data are stored in data nodes. In HDFS, files are divided into blocks and blocks are replicated in different data nodes. Data node sends heartbeat and block reports to name node. 